My name is Eva. I have Parkinson's disease. Progressive, incurable. It affects normal movement patterns, rhythm and balance, and other things. I have been a dancer all my life, and now I am confronted with the loss of my ability to express myself through movement. And in the midst of this unbearable loss, I retreat into my secret garden. There, I find an old friend who whispers a phrase that eases my despair. E pur si muove. And yet, it still moves. Parkinson's disease has forced on me many unwanted presents, but it has also given me the membership to a community of remarkable people. These are their voices and their bodies. I'm Teresa. To me, movement is life. Every type and level of movement, spiritual, emotional, mental, or physical, is absolutely essential for life to continue in a healthy fashion. If we stop moving at any level, if we get stuck in any particular configuration, a small death begins to set in. We must continue moving in whatever ways we can to continue growing. Hi, my name is Clark. For me, movement is the ability to do things with my family and friends that I've always enjoyed doing, such as hiking in the mountains or desert and taking a daily walk with my wife. It's the ability to keep traveling, both near and far, which has been my career and my passion for all my adult life. And it's the ability to remain independent, which may be the most important thing of all as I grow older. Without movement, I fear I would be lost. So whatever it takes to keep moving, that's what I plan to do. I'm John. What is movement? The question reminded me of the expression, use it or lose it. The correct expression should be, move it or lose it. People with Parkinson's have the choice to give in to the disease and remain sedentary, with the result being continued progression of the disease and its symptoms, or to be physically and mentally active as a means of delaying the progression of the disease and its symptoms. I have participated in classes in the PWR gym for the past four and one half years. I do not think that the disease has progressed in that time. I am able to lead the same active life that I experienced prior to being diagnosed. So for me, movement means quality of life. As long as I continue to move, my quality of life will be better, and I, not Parkinson's, will continue to be in control of who I am and what I do. We're going to try and drive that knee up. Let's get those heart rates going. Yeah. So that knee comes up as you hit down on that drum. Hello, my name is Arnold. I grew up as a very active lifestyle. I was a competitive skier in my youth. I played golf all my life. I was active outdoors and in various organizations and movement is essential to enjoying life in all those facets. When I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in late 70s, I was unable to take part as easily in many activities and have sought out physiotherapists who guided me to the power program here in Tucson, where I'm learning new skills and new ways of dealing with my Parkinson's limitations. It gives me the chance to move and enjoy life in all its forms. If we stop moving at any level, if we get stuck in any particular configuration, a small death begins to set in. We must continue moving in whatever ways we can to continue growing. Every little constraint that we put on ourselves makes us smaller. No matter what is happening around me, I always tell myself, just keep moving, just keep moving. 
Parkinson's. People living with Parkinson's. I have been a dancer all my life and now I am confronted with the loss of my ability to express myself through movement. And in the midst of this unbearable loss, I retreat into my secret garden. There, I find an old friend who whispers a phrase that eases my despair. E pur si muove. E pur si muove. And yet, it still moves. And yet, moves. it still moves, said Galileo in 1633, after being forced by the Inquisition to recant his claims that the earth moves around the sun. Galileo went into house arrest, just like me. But the moment he was set up at liberty, he looked up to the sky and down to the ground and said, E pur si muove. E pur si muove. And yet, it, and still, yet moves. it still moves. Said Galileo Galilei in 1633, after being forced by the Inquisition, I have Parkinson's disease, that the earth moves around the sun. And now that I have been forced by Parkinson's disease to recant my intelligent moving body and my expressive face, I too affirm, and yet, it still moves. It still moves. Still moves. Still moves. Movement is life. Every type and level of movement, spiritual, emotional, mental, or physical, is absolutely essential for life. My body. My body. My broken body. My body that is betraying me. My changing body. At least today, it still moves. Still moves. Without grace. Without coordination. A shadow of its former self. Because it is still alive and movement is life. Because it is still alive. And our love affair is not over. Every day I tell my body I love it. Every day it has been a good marriage and I'm not ready to give it up. My moving body saved my life once. It gave me a purpose. It became my instrument. It has given me much pleasure. It has given me much pleasure. But my intelligent body is changing and I have to forgive it for that. So I move, I dance, I dance, I walk, I tell my body over and over, it's okay, don't be afraid, you can do it. A pur si muove. like being plugged into energy or electricity. It is the means by which all things are accomplished. Motion. All things are motion. Heavenly bodies in motion. Movement means 
I have been a dancer all my life and now I am confronted with the loss of my ability to express myself through music. What is movement? The question reminds me of the expression use it or lose it. The correct expression should be move it or lose it. Movement is like being plugged into energy or electricity. It is the means by which all things are accomplished. Movement is essential to enjoying life in all its facets. Life is change. If we stop moving at any level, if we get stuck in any particular configuration, a small death begins to set in. We must continue moving in whatever ways we can to continue growing. Every little constraint that we put on ourselves makes us smaller. No matter what is happening around me, I always tell myself, just keep moving, just keep moving. Movement is life. All is movement. Life is motion. Heavenly bodies in motion. Without movement, I fear I would be lost. So whatever it takes to keep moving, that's what I plan to do. My body, my broken body, my body that is betraying me, my changing body. At least today, it still moves. Without grace, without coordination, the shadows its former self. Give yourself to joy, yourself for sorrow, to joy, will, be sorrow will be infinite. The stars will continue stars movement continue in the firmament, in the firmament and, the and the bricks which will be made of your body will serve to construct palaces for others. For others.